Hi, I'm Bill Allen from Load Controls. I would like to go over the output relays in the PMP25. The output relays for the high and low trip points are Form C, having a common with normally closed and normally open contacts. These contacts are dry type having no connected power. They are just switches that must be wired into a control circuit to take whatever action is needed when a trip occurs. Let's take a look. The state of the contacts shown in the installation manual are with power on and not tripped. When 120 volts is switched on to the PMP25, the output relays energize and the contacts move to the state shown. This is for fail safe operation. If the 120 volts is lost or a failure occurs, the contacts will fail to the tripped condition which is a shelf state of the relay contacts. Once tripped, the output relays will latch. They can be reset manually by the front panel reset button or by a remote switch connected to the terminal strip. The remote resets can also be hardwired together for automatic reset. Reset can only be done if the trip condition no longer exists or if the motor is off. In a typical application, the normally closed relay contacts for both high and low are wired in series with a motor starter stop circuit. This diagram shows the PMP25 high and low closed contacts wired in series with the sealing contact of a motor starter. After the start button is closed and the motor starts, the starting coil is held on by the stop button, the PMP25 contacts, and the sealing contact. If the stop button or either of the PMP25 contacts open, the starting coil will de-energize and open the sealing contact. The motor will shut down and wait for a start. The PMP25 output contacts can directly control size 1 and size 2 starters. For larger motor starters, an auxiliary relay must be used between the PMP25 and the motor stop circuit. This diagram shows an auxiliary relay controlled by the PMP25 and connected to the stop circuit. The contacts of this relay are rated for the larger motor starter. The PMP25 holds the relay coil energized and a normally open contact is held closed in series with the seal in. When the start switch is closed, the starter coil is held on by the seal in to run the motor. If either the stop switch or the PMP25 contacts open, the motor shuts down and is held off by the seal in. Okay, I hope that helps understand how to wire the PMP25 output relays into your control circuit. If you need help, don't hesitate to call us here at Low Controls. And thank you for your business.